Hello everybody, welcome back to We Love Wisdom, and this week's special is going to be the Madagascar special, focusing all on animals from in and around the island of Madagascar. Uh, trying to keep it a little bit varied, but uh, maybe with some unusual picks. But here goes with the first animal of the week being the Malagasy giant hognose, which is a species of diurnal, harmless, lamb-footed snakes that can be found on the island of Madagascar, as well as Nosebi, Nose Sakatia, and the Comoros Islands. They inhabit a wide variety of habitats, ranging from wet coastal rainforest to dry deciduous forests, arid shrubland, productive farmland, subterranean caves, and even inside urban areas. Uh, this is in large part due to the remarkably varied diet, which consists of frogs, toads, lizards, other snakes, birds, rodents, eggs, tenrix, and even small lemurs. They themselves are frequently eaten by birds of prey such as the Madagascar Harrier Hawk. Reaching lengths upwards of 6 feet and the thickness around the size of a grown man's arm, the Madagascar giant hognose snake is the largest type of hognose snake. Uh, and like all hognose snakes, they sport large eyes with protruding scales above them that act as protection from blowing dust, and they utilize their distinctive hog-like noses to dig into soil using a sweeping side-to-side -side motion. Additionally, they are rear-fanged venomous, which means they have fangs at the back of their mouth and, uh, that can inject mild venom by chewing it on their by chewing it under their prey. This venom is not dangerous to humans, but can cause some mild irritation as well as some swelling and discomfort. Uh, curiously, when threatened, the Malagasy giant hognose is known to flatten their neck as a def defensive intimidation display, not like that of a cobra. Breeding occurs year-round, after which the female will dig out a burrow and deposit around 6 to 12 eggs, which she will guard until they hatch some 68 days later. Under ideal conditions, the Malagasy giant hognose snake is known to live over 20 years. Next up is Kokoro Safika. Uh, you may know it from the hit television show La Bombe Fool, where it played the titular lemur. Uh, Kokoro Safika is a diurnal medium sized lemur of the Safika genus Propithecus. Uh, it is native in northwestern Madagascar, where they inhabit dry, deciduous forests and coastal woodland. Here they have a herbivorous diet, diet that varies depending on the season, feeding primarily on fruits, bark, and flowers in the wet season, and leaves, buds, and wood in the dry season. Safigas themselves are preyed upon by constrictor snakes, civets, fusas, birds of prey, uh, including hawks and eagles. Kokoro safika typically measures around three and a half feet in length, including the tail. The dorsal fur is a t and the tail is white, with maroon patches on the chest to portions of the limbs. The coat is generally dense, and its face is bare and black except for a distinctive patch of white fur along the bridge of the nose. Its naked ears are also black, and its eyes are either yellow or orange in coloration. Bottom lemur's hands and feet are black, while the thighs, arms, and chest are a chocolate brown. Like all lemurs, Kokoro Safika has a tooth comb, which is used for grooming and sometimes for scraping fruit off, the, uh, off of a pit. In the trees, Kokoro Safika moves by vertically clinging and leaping. It maintains an upright posture when at rest uh, or, when propelled at, uh, or when propelling itself between branches or trunks of trees up to 35 feet from tree to tree. Occasionally, Kokoro Safika sits the ground to cross open spaces where it moves forward through a series of bipedal hops with its arms thrown to the sides for balance. Kokoro Safika lives in matriarchal groups around 3 to 10 individuals, and when members of the same group meet, they, rub each they greet each other by rubbing noses together. Like many social lemur species, Kokoro Safika practices polyandry, in which females will mate with multiple males. Mating typically occurs throughout January and February, and after a 162 gestation, day gestation period, the female will typically give birth to one to two young, which will stay with their mother until around six months of age and become sexually mature at between two and three and a half years. Uh, they can live upwards of 25 years under ideal conditions. Next up is the Madagascar hissing cockroach, also known as the hissing cockroach or simply the hisser, is a large species of wingless nocturnal cockroach near to the island of Madagascar. Here they inhabit both rainforest and dry woodland, where they primarily dwell on the forest floor, feeding upon rotten wood, fallen fruit, and leaf litter. Measuring between two and three inches in length and over an inch in width, they are some of the largest cockroaches on Earth. There is notably sexual dimorphism, uh, with males possessing large horns on the pronotum, which is behind the head, uh, while females only have small bumps. Additionally, the antenna of males are hairy, while the antenna of females are relatively smooth. Finally, the behavior of males and females also differs. 
with males uh, being aggressive and often competing for mates by ramming into each other until one surrenders. While many insects use sound, the Madagascar hissing cockroach is a unique way of producing its hisses, as instead of vibrating a membrane or rubbing two body parts together like most arthropods, the sound is produced by forcibly expelling air through a pair of modified abdominal respiratory spicules. This distinctive hissing display plays an important role in colony hierarchy and courtship interactions, as well as an alarm system to warn each other of potential dangers. The life cycle of the Madagascar hissing cockroach is long and differs from some from most other cockroaches. Females are ovoviparous, that is, they give birth to live young. A female carries the egg in the neonate nymphs approximately 60 days until they first emerge as first instar nymphs. One female can produce as many as 30 to 60 nymphs at a time. This insect has an incomplete life cycle with egg, nymph, and adult stage, and the nymphs undergo six molts before they reach uh, maturity around seven months of age. Under ideal conditions, adults can live upwards of five years, which is fairly long for an insect. Next up is the Fusa, which is a carnivorous mammal that is endemic to Madagascar. It is a member of the Euplaridae uh, family, uh, which is a family of car carnivorans uh, closely related to the mongoose family uh, Herpestidae. They can be found throughout a wide range of habitat, including coastal rainforests. Ooh. I'm out of breath for some reason. Montane cloud forests, deciduous woodlands, and arid spiny forests. Here they feed on a variety of animals, including lemurs, insects, crustaceans, tenorix, rodents, lizards, birds, and amphibians, as well as the seeds of various plants. Prey is obtained by hunting either on the ground or in trees. During the non breeding season, Fusa hunts typically indi uh, individually, but during the breeding season, hunting parties may be seen. And many, these may be pairs or later on mothers and their young. One member of a group scales a tree and chases the lemurs or other prey out from tree to tree, forcing them to the ground where the others are able, easily able to capture and kill them. The fusa appears as a diminutive form of a large felid, such as a cougar, but with a slender frame, muscular limbs, and a long tail that is nearly as long as the rest of the body. It has a mongoose-like head, relatively longer than that of a cat, a broad, short muzzle, and large round ears. The coat is comprised of short, straight, reddish-brown fur that is relatively dense without spots or patterns. Its head body length is around 28 to 31 inches, and its tail is additionally around 26 to 28 inches long. There is some sexual dimorphism, with adult males weighing around 14 to 19 pounds, while females weigh around 12 to 15 pounds. Fusas have a polyandrous mating system, and the breeding season typically occurs from September to December. After a 90-day gestation period, the female will give birth to between one and six cubs, which will stay with their mother until they are fully mature around three to four years of age. Under ideal conditions, a fusa can live upwards of 20 years. Next up is the helmet vaga, which is a distinctive-looking bird of the vaga family, vagadae. Uh, it is classified in its own genus, Gyriceros. It is restricted to lowland and lower montane rainforests in northeastern Madagascar, where it primarily feeds upon insects, spiders, crabs, slugs, snails, amphibians, and small lizards. At around 10 to 12 inches in length, they are the second largest species of vanga after the sickle-billed vanga. The plumage of the head, neck, throat, breast, and belly is a solid bluish-black, uh, as are the primary coverts and the rimages of the wings. Uh, the mantle, the back, and the rest of the wings are a rusty orange. Uh, the tail, which is long and broad, is black below and rusty orange above. The most distinctive feature is the massive hooked bill, which can measure over an inch thick and two inches long. It sports a bright blue coloration with a black tip. Helmet thongas are monogamous, typically breeding between October and January, uh, both sexes work on construction of the nest, uh, which is a cup shape that's around 5 to 6 inches in diameter, constructed from woven plant fibers, mosses, and twigs. It is typically placed in the fork of a tree around 6 to 14 feet off the ground. Uh, here the pair will take turns incubating 2 to 3 pinkish eggs for around 20 days. The young leave the nest 17 days after hatching, and the population, which is between 600 and 1500 birds, 
uh, is becoming increasingly fragmented and restricted to undisturbed humid rainforests, which is increasingly being cleared for agriculture and forestry. As such, the helmet vaga is considered to be vulnerable to extinction. Next up is the Madagascar flying fox, also known as the Malagasy flying fox, the Madagascar uh, flying fox, or the Madagascar fruit bat, is a species of megabat in the genus uh, Teropus. It is endemic to Madagascar, where they inhabit tropical and subtropical lowland rainforests. Uh, they are brown in coloration with golden areas on the head, chest, and shoulders, and grayish black wings. Males can be differentiated from females by their larger head size relative to the body. Uh, with a body length of around 10 inches and sporting a wingspan of upwards of 4 feet, it is one of the largest flying mammals on Earth and is the largest flying mammal native to Madagascar. During the day, the Madagascar flying fox roosts throughout canopies, uh, the forest canopy in colonies upwards of 1,000 individuals, emerging at night in mass to feed. Their diet mainly consists of fruit, fruit juice, as well as leaves, flowers, and nectar. Occasionally, insects and other arthropods may be consumed. Because of this, the Madagascar flying fox acts as a primary pollinator and seed disperser throughout their environment. Fruit bats themselves are often preyed upon by large raptors, such as the Madagascar harrier hawk. Female Madagascan megabats typically give birth once a year around October and produce a single offspring or occasionally twins. They will stay with their mother as they nurse for roughly five months before they become largely independent. However, they will remain with their familiar flock until they reach sexual maturity around two years of age. Madagascar flying fox live upwards of 30 years under ideal conditions. And our extinct animal of the week is Sinosuchus, uh, which means pub which means pug-nosed crocodile in Greek, so the pug croc. It is an extinct genus of notosuchia and crocodilomorphs uh, from the Meiveronal formation of the late Cretaceous Madagascar with some possible fossils from India. Sinosuchus was small, around two and a half feet, based on skeletons of mature individuals. In contrast to most other crocodilomorphs, uh, or crocodile forms, which have long, low skulls, Sinosuchus had a distinctively short snout, uh, the shape of the skull differs considerably between specimens, with variation in orientation and body projections. Uh, these differences may be indications of sexual dimorphism, and the teeth that line the front of the jaws are shaped like maple leaves, which is a primarily herbivorous lifestyle. In most respects, the postcranial skeleton of Simosuchus uh, resembles that of other terrestrial crocodiliforms. However, there were several unique characteristics, such as a notably short tail, robust limbs, large claws, and extensive, an extensive adornment of osteoderms, which formed shields over the back, underside, limbs, and tail, giving the animal an overall squat body reminiscent of modern armadillos. In life, Simosuchus would have scuttled around the feet of Titanosaurus, such as Raptosaurus, feeding on a variety of low-lying plants. Its armor plating would have served as protection for predators such as the small theropod Masiakasaurus and the massive frog Beelzebufo. It might have further hidden from both of these and larger carnivores such as Majungasaurus, as well as avoid harsh weather outside, inside of burrows, which it would have constructed using its powerful limbs tipped with sharp claws. As always, uh, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals. Have a wonderful day.